so shindwa sauti aku swaye lewa una ponena swasi ki umetuku ka umetuku ka
this morning as we start of this morning devotion. The Lord you are going to guide us. Your Holy Spirit shall be upon us. And because we do not know how to pray, Holy Spirit of God, guide us and lead us into prayer this morning. We welcome dear Lord and we acknowledge you as our God, as our King and our Father. And Lord we welcome you as we start of this morning. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and give thanks. Amen. We wish to welcome you to this first Wednesday of the month of October for our morning devotion. Before we move to prayer, I want us to bring to our attention the number 10. I remember last month was the month of uh, completion, number 9. And number 10 is a number of integration, discipline, laws, and wholeness. Number 10 signifies testimony, law, responsibility, and the completeness of order. And our guiding verse this morning is Psalms 122 verse 6. In Psalm 33, verse 12, these are Psalms of David. In 33, verse 12, he says, Blessed is a nation whose Lord God is their God. And 122, verse 6 says, Praise to be the Lord. Verse 6, uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, may those who love you be secure. And this morning, the Lord has led me so strongly that we pray for our nation. It is a man of order, discipline, and law. And because God gave us the Ten Commandments, we need to pray for our land this very time because there is disorder. People have become unruly and they are not obeying the law. And when this happens, all of us are affected. And therefore, we are going to pray as a church and the people of God for the peace of this land. So we are going to, all of us today, dedicate the prayer on behalf of our nation. You know what is happening? The disorder, the fight, the hostility, the vulgar language that is there. 
And of course, our young people being misused by our politicians. We are going to stand in the gap on behalf of the land. And we pray that the name of the Lord be exalted in this land. And also we pray for peace for this land. Because when there is peace, even the church of Jesus Christ is going to be established. I will request the praise team to lead us with a chorus that says, Matai Fayote ya nakufahamu ya kwa mawewe ndiye mungu. Kindly praise team. Matai Fayote ya nakufahamu kuwa wewe
magai ota watu atogoria thini wa kiwaro shine wa mune na ota watu ero horo ana komi a number of order a number of discipline that by the subjection of the lord she for one no the order of stay in jesus christ that our country may come to order that our country may be restored by the power of our lord jesus christ let us stand in the nation uh, to bring sanity to, to bring restoration uh, to bring peace to bring love uh, to bring reconciliation in our land uh, for is there anything that is too hard for our God uh, to make even a to say my kwamba mataifa yote yamefahamu kuwa Mungu hashindwi hata sisi na taifa letu la Kenya ninafahamu huyo Mungu Mungu asiyeshindwa na Mungu asiyebadilika yeye anatawala kwa nguvu na uweza hakuna wakulinganisha wala paranisho na yeye hakuna jambo lolote ambalo linalo kushinda hata hichi yetu anaweza kuibadilisha anaweza kuleta amani anaweza kurestore anaweza kutenda jambo lingine mpya kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu na shindwi bwana tunakuinua tunakutukuza tukikuita Mungu asiyeshindwa tukikabidhi hichi yetu mikononi mwa kona za uonesho that god may prevail kwa sababu ya leo Jehovah Mungu wetu tunaweza kuleta discipline katika our nation that you may bring our nation to honor Jehovah my God from the leadership of this nation my God you may bring it to honor our father when two people fight Jehovah my God father the ones that are with them and the ones that suffer Jehovah God how we pray that you may bring the leadership of this nation father our Lord and our Savior Jehovah my God to honor in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray to you for glory this one of morning that the president and the deputy Jehovah my God may be reunited Jehovah every power and every spirit of division my God you may cast the car of the leadership of this nation my God that you may bring healing reconciliation Jehovah the spirit of love our God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my father when they are not one when they are not united jehovah god we pray that you may take the king of all glory nothing is impossible to you jehovah we pray that you may reign king of all glory we pray that you may reign in the nation jehovah we pray that you may reign king of all glory that there may be peace jehovah that there may be a spirit to cover upon this land of god jehovah even as we pray this
ti ngai ni munene na nikyo tokire kumuthaitha I want us to pray for our education center this very morning Tiana sito ikoretwa mushi for the last 7 months We thank God that this week our technical institutions were able to go back and of course we look forward for next week for the candidates to be back to school we want to pray for these institutions and the peer and the CS for education. And the pain of the parents who are home, they are wondering where do they get school fees. And as we pray for our education sector, we also pray for the institution of health, the Ministry of Health. That the Lord may take charge. Tuare kereria. Toko nitendere kuina the national anthem, the first stanza. Then Reverend Michael will conclude for us that session. Have your way, dear Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Serving wholeheartedly that they may be able to serve in the way that God wants them to 
serve them. And as we pray that those that are in the ministry of searching for cure, that God may lead them and lead them by His Spirit, that they may be able to come up with a solution, that they may be able to come up with a vaccine. And those that are making the vaccines, uh, those vaccines to be good, uh, and those vaccines to bring the coronavirus to an end, uh, but there is nothing that is too hard for our God. He wanted to na kuomba siku ya leo Jehovah Mungu wetu, ukasaidia Jehovah the education system Mungu wetu, elimu ya nchi yetu Jehovah, the system our God and our Father, my God that He was distracted and the future my father and the faith of it my God is shaky but Jehovah our destinies are in your hands and therefore we commit the destiny of the education of this nation in your hand and our God that by your power my God you may bring everything back to normal see Jehovah that the wicked land of the enemy that was planned against the education my God may not prevail Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray Jehovah my God that those who are put the places of leadership in the ministry of education, you may feel them by your spirit, my God, that by every decision that is made, King of all glory, my Father may be led by you, Jehovah, and even as the students and the students, people go back to school, we pray that Jehovah, my Father, that your hand of protection may be upon them, King of all glory, that you may lead them by your spirit, Jehovah. That your covering, my God, may be upon them. That you may protect them and preserve them, Jehovah, my God. There is power in your blood, Jehovah. We bleed the blood upon the children that are going back to school this morning. Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Jehovah, my Father, that you may help those that are searching for the cure, them that are searching for the vaccines, them that are ministering and serving those that are sick, Jehovah. You may give them, my Father. We God, you may fill them with your spirit, Jehovah, that they say go on of their normal duties, my God. They may do it like they're not serving man, but they are serving you, Jehovah. And we pray for your protection upon them as they deal with this deadly virus, Jehovah, that your protection may be upon them. My God, Jehovah, hide them, my Father. Let your head of fire surround them. Let them be protected from every harm, Jehovah, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ, uh, is there anything that is to have for you, Jehovah? We are exalting you above and all, Jehovah, declaring you are God and you are able, declaring that you are going to come through, uh, declaring that your will is going to prevail, uh, for there is nothing, Jehovah God, that is to have for you, our God and our Father. We worship and glorify you, Jehovah, our God and our God. We glorify you, our God and our Father, declaring you are God and you are able. And we pray that you may come and do what no man can do, Jehovah. On this land and on this nation, we pray that you may come and do what no man can do, King of all glory. Jehovah, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Come and do what no man can do, Jehovah. You are a way maker, O God. Come and reign, O God. Come and reign. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You Stand as a welcome, Reverend Michael, and we'll be led with the national anthem. Today we are praying for the nation, the first stanza in Swahili, so that he can stand in the gap. <laughs> Oh, uh-huh. 
Father, our God, we are before you this morning because we know who you are in our lives. Because our hope and our trust is in you. Because we know you as a mighty God, great God, the living God. We are before you to pour our hearts to you. We are before you to surrender our hearts and our lives unto you. Because we know that when we surrender our hearts and our lives to you, you cares and lord you're going to have your way in our lives this morning we acknowledge your greatness this morning we acknowledge your faithfulness this morning we acknowledge your mercies and grace upon our lives because we are the witness of the great things that god you have done in our lives and lord jehovah lord this morning we want to surrender our nation to you. How we pray that you are going to uphold this nation with your righteous hand. Because of our Father, the Bible says that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And you are God in this nation. Our hope and our trust is in you. Nobody chooses to be us in a certain nation, but we found ourselves here in Kenya because you have good plans for life. nation Kenya. How we pray that you may walk with him together with other leaders in, in our government. We have a choice, oh Lord, that we'll make. How we pray that you shall give them wisdom. The battles that may be fighting, Lord, we pray that you may give them strength. How we pray, Jehovah God, that you're going to bless our government. There are many things that we have experienced. There are many things that we have attested. Lord, this far. And how we pray, Jehovah God, that you're going to bless our government. And Lord, we pray even at this time, Jehovah God, where there are many things that are coming up in our nation. Lord, you may come and establish a strong foundation, Lord, in Kenya, so that our Father, we may trust in you. We may love you. We may serve you in accordance to your will. Heavenly Father, we want to surrender ourselves again unto your able hands. Thanking you so much, O oh Lord, as the nation. Because, O oh Lord, in the beginning of this year, we had hope, we had objective. We never knew that many things will happen this far. But God, we can attest of your faithfulness. In the midst of troubles, in the midst of difficulties, in the midst of many things, we as Kenyans, we have experienced Lord, we can attest of your faithfulness because the far that we are, it is not out of our goodness. It is not out of our faithfulness. It is not out of what good we have done. But God, it is all about you. And we pray, Jehovah God, that you may continue protecting us from diseases, that you may continue protecting us from calamities, that you may continue protecting us as the nation from all powers of darkness and Lord you may continue upholding us with your righteous hand we pray Jehovah God that you may bring coronavirus to the end Lord we pray that you may weaken this virus in the name of Jesus Christ how we pray Jehovah God that you shall give us the testimony because for sure we have learned many things since 
corona came in our nation. Lord, we pray that you may continue teaching us, that you may continue directing us in accordance to your will. We want to surrender, oh God, the ministry of health. Lord, at this time, they are working tirelessly. And Lord, some, they have sacrificed themselves many things. How we pray that you may continue refreshing them, that you may continue giving them wisdom in every choice and in every decision they make. We pray for the whole fraternity of the ministry of health. That, oh God, even as they continue treating your people, as they continue giving services to your people, Lord, continue protecting them and their families. Continue protecting them, oh Lord, from sicknesses and from all attacks of the enemy. We want to surrender the ministry of education. Lord, surrendering all the pupils and students unto your able hands. Lord, we never knew that in the beginning of this year, that in the course of the year, the students, the pupils will not be in school. And now they are five, more than five months they have stayed at home. But God, we want to thank you because you have been faithful. You have protected our children. You have protected them, Lord. Because God, if you are not on their side, for those many months they have been at home, they could have been defeated. But Lord, we can, we can attest of your faithfulness. And we want to surrender them to you. As Especially the candidates who, in the beginning of this year, they had objection and objective that in the, by the end of the year they will sit for their exam. But Lord, it never happened. We want to surrender them to you. Even as they prepare for their forthcoming exam next year, Lord, we pray that you may refresh their minds as they go back to school, that you may help them to catch and to catch up, oh Lord, that you may help them to understand that God, you may give them your wisdom and those of our Father will sit for their exam. Lord, you may give them success for the glory and honor of your holy name. We want to surrender our teenagers unto your able hand. And this time they have been at home. There are many things, oh God, that has happened. But Lord, we want to surrender them. And we pray that you may continue blessing them. That you may continue protecting them from all attacks of the enemy. For the glory and honor of your name. One thing, Lord, we pray is that our pupils, our students, Lord, the desires in their hearts will come to pass one day. The destiny that God you have installed for them, it shall come to pass one day. The careers that most of them, they desire to pursue in the future, it shall come to pass it, because you are a faithful God. Have your way, O oh God, because you are faithful. We cannot make it without you. Our hope and our trust is in you. Continue working with us. Continue guiding us. Continue establishing the strong foundation in our lives. Because without you, we cannot make it. For this is our prayer of faith, believing and trusting in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Rangirang goroya kwa Sondo rangiri Marutsa gawatsuho Wemwa kiwanyumba Deko hoya jakirendo Overseer of this great cathedral is with us, our very own canon, is going to bring us the word of the Lord to guide us this month and, the, and the, this last quarter of the year. We are delighted. As we sing the first stanza of Gaimon and Nenamutugi, we welcome our provost to bring to us the word of God. <laughs> Yoringa yuri na do hota wo yando wa boko wa kunene no netewa ikonda ite ka mungu ya na boko ya jo e de jo e ati we dai na otora Yeah. 
to have faith because faith in you brings joy in our lives. Illuminate our hearts and our minds that your goodness and grace will be our portion and that we shall keep to your path to the glory of your name. This is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Brethren, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Christ indeed is the Lord of my life and has continued to impact in my life and to walk with me and every day I'm enjoying a walk with Christ. Indeed, how beautiful it is to stand in the presence of the Almighty in a morning like this. And I want to thank you for dedicating an hour this day for prayer. How I pray that every other day you may dedicate, because this is less than a tenth of the time that God has given you for 24 hours, that you would dedicate an hour in the worship of the Lord, in seeking the Almighty. And therefore, for the Christians who are here and those who are with us online, it is my prayer that would make it a very good habit to dedicate an hour as a tithe in the presence of the Lord. I want us to share from the book of Romans chapter 5. Faith brings joy is my theme. Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we therefore have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege. We don't deserve it. What we now stand, where we now stand, and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Verse 3, we can therefore rejoice. When we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance, and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope, brethren, will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Praise be to God. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. How many times have you ever been disappointed with yourself? How many times have you ever been disappointed by friends? How many times have you been disappointed by those very close to you? your parents, your spouse, your children. How many times have you ever been disappointed by the systems, the education system, the government systems, the corrupt systems? How many times have you been disappointed and you feel like you don't want to be called a kingdom? How many times have you seen human beings doing evil and terrible things to other human beings and you go disappointed for being a human being? 
brethren, we have an assurance that there is only one we, there is only one who has called us, whose walk in him will never and never lead to disappointment. The introduction is a call that since we have been made right in God, a reminder that the one who has made us right is not ourselves. It is by God. And always remember this. It is God who has worked to make you right with God. And this calling and walk can only be done by faith or through sight. And we are reminded that this walk or through this walk, we get the peace of God. We get the peace of God. Not the peace that we get out of our doings, our capacities and abilities. It is the peace of God that passes our understanding. It is the peace of God that you cannot explain. And you are reminded in verse 2 that because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege. We do not merit. It is undeserved privilege. Whoever you are, Whatever you are is undeserved. Christ worked it for you. You could not die on the cross. You are so sinful. You are so sinful. I was so sinful. That anything I would have done to make a med with, with God would lead to more pain because we do not deserve. Kindly, brothers and sisters, always remember that it is undeserved privilege where we now stand. And look at the promise, and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Because of the peace and the undeserved privilege and the work of Christ on the cross and the work that he does every day for me and for you, Therefore, we look forward to God's glory. Finally, verse 3, we are now called and invited to this privilege of rejoicing. We can now rejoice too, we can, we can rejoice too when we run into problems. The undeserved privilege does not give us leeway or does not call us into a, a perpetual uh, uh, joy. It does not call us into a life without challenges. We are called into joy, but that does not negate that we are called to get into challenges. But we are called to rejoice within these challenges. We can therefore rejoice when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us, the challenges, the problems, help us to develop endurance. And therefore it is within the school of God when we run into challenges. Usione shetani katika every problem. We are not called to see Satan or the devil at the turn of every bush. Because the challenges that we have, the challenges that we go through, are to work in us endurance. They help us to develop endurance. And number two, we are told, endurance develops strength. 
you become muscular in terms of strength. You can never become strong without endurance. And endurance is brought about by the challenges that we go through every day. Endurance develops strength of character. Are you a Christian without character? It is because you are not practicing. You are not enduring. Enduring does not mean you become a fool or you look the other way when the challenges are coming. But it is within God's school of developing you so that you have character. If you ever find yourself as a person, a Christian without character, it is because there is lack of endurance and the strength that is developed through endurance. Endurance develops strength of character and character strength strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Character develops our confident hope of salvation. Are you a Christian without confidence? Are you a sojourner without confidence? Do you always look upon people to tell you whether you are moving right, whether you are doing right? It is because you lack confidence. Do you challenge evil in your life and in other people's life? It is because you lack confidence. Brethren, when we are called to rejoice in the hope of Christ, we are called also to run into problems and trials. But these are not to destroy us. Allow me to remind you as I get seated. The reason for problems and trials is to help us develop endurance. Are you a Christian without endurance? And endurance develops strength of character. And the character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this is what I ended up with, all I began with. And this hope, brethren, this hope will never lead to disappointment. In the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Let's rise up on our feet. And before the Lord, we take a moment to appreciate and thank God and for the problems and suffering we are in. We have been reminded it is for our good. The Lord is molding us. The Lord is shaping us. What is that that I put you so down? Could you please take a moment this morning and thank God because we have hope in him and our hope in God does not disappoint without even a chorus. Take a moment and thank God for that issue and acknowledge him because it is for good. It is for good. It is for your good.
and the confirmation of the words that the powers of darkness have fallen down and we are trampling on them as we move on towards Calvary and that at Calvary no power, no power, no words of Satan can overcome us. God, we thank you. Thank you for giving us a moment before your presence. We thank you for calling us to love you and to serve you. We thank you, Father, even for confirming in our lives that you've called us to endure temptations, trials, and challenges in our lives. Not that they, not that they destroy us, but that, Lord, we may have a faith that is built on endurance and that our hope in you our hope in you, our hope in you, Lord, will never be disappointed. Lord, we confirm that we have been disappointed many times in our lives, but we thank you because in you we shall never be disappointed. We thank you and we commit these dear people unto thee. As they move out to love and to work for you, that God, you guide them, you give them your peace, that your goodness and favor shall be a portion, and that amidst the trials, they'll be made better for your kingdom. And our brethren, into the hands of the Almighty we commit you, that his goodness and grace, his mercies and love, will be your portion, and that the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, will be with you, remain with you, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May we move out to love and to serve the Lord and to patiently wait upon the Lord and endure the challenges and the trials that are brought into our life because they are meant to make us better. In the name of God, Father, Son, Sessional hit.